Hey everybody, I hope you guys are doing well today. Just want to get my vlog started here. I have a goal for this vlog. I want to make this vlog as long as I possibly can. I want to make a really long vlog today and I want to see what all content I can get for you guys. But yeah, that's the goal today. Just make a super long vlog as long as I possibly can. And yeah, we'll bring you along for it. Thanks for joining into this video here. If you can, please subscribe. Uh, please like. It really does mean a lot to me, so we'll hop right into it. Well, most of the roses are starting to wilt over, so I think I'm going to get them out of here and uh, hang them upside down like I have the other ones. Alrighty, there we go. And the reason I like to do this is because they uh, last a lot longer. I've had these roses for... Man, I can't even tell you how long. It's been a long, long time. They've just been hanging here on my door, but yeah, you can definitely see the the comparison. <laughs> These have been here a while, but they just last, and I like how they look. I love flowers in general, whether they're bloomed or even like this. Flowers are just beautiful, and they bring me a lot of joy. I just hung them on the back of the door with the other ones here. I think it looks pretty nice. I really, really like it. And yeah, eventually these will <laughs> probably look like these. <laughs> but yeah, just wanted to get you a look at that. God bless. Now I'll dump out the vase, vase, whatever you want to call it. I call it a vase. And both of my wax warmers here, I have uh, patchouli wax cubes or wax melts. And uh, I think it smells pretty good. Funny thing about patchouli. Uh, my mom actually is not a big fan of patchouli. Uh, I personally like patchouli. I think it smells good, especially a really nice, rich, earthy patchouli. I think it smells great, but hey, everybody, to each their own. Uh, whatever you like, you like. Whatever somebody else likes, they like. Uh, it's all personal preference, especially when it comes to fragrances and different smells. But yeah, I personally like patchouli. Comment down below, do you like patchouli? Yeah, just to look at the cacti here. I'm just so happy. I I love these cacti so much. They are just so beautiful. Just wanted to get you guys a look at that. Yeah, the wind chimes sound beautiful today too. One of my friends uh, gifted me this candle, I believe, and it's not even lit. I've lit it a few times, of course, and used it but it's not even lit and I can walk in my room here and I can just smell it. It's a very, it's a very strong candle. It's uh, very, very potent. One of the highlights of my day, picking out my scent of the day. I love it. Hey everybody, just going to hang out with my friend Keith at his house. Uh, probably do some filming with him. Uh, it's a pretty nice temperature out. I don't know if the wind is going to come up or not, but in northwest Oklahoma, you never know what the weather is going to do. It's uh, all subjective to change. And uh, yeah, the weather here in northwest Oklahoma is kind of wild, so it could literally do anything at any time. But anyways, just wanted to get you that update here. I'm heading to my friend Keith's house and going to do some hanging out and probably some filming together. So. Uh, looks like we got a oversized load up here. He's trying to turn, I think. So I'll stay stay back a good distance so he can uh, go ahead and turn. There he goes. I think he's got it. All righty. Perfect. But anyways, I'll catch up with you guys when I get to my friend Keith's house. God bless. Hey everybody, made it over to my friend Keith's house. Uh, we're just sitting here on the couch watching some recipe videos. Uh, just different cooking videos here on YouTube. Uh, he's really inspired by his cooking channel. 
he's trying to find more ideas to do and yeah we'll come up with something here today we've been thinking about jalapeno poppers uh we've we've both been into the spicy foods here lately so uh i just been looking at some different recipes to use to get some spicy foods so we'll definitely figure something out here keith i don't know why we have been so much into the spicy foods lately but we really have uh i've been loving spicy food recently my friend tc he absolutely loves spicy food that's probably one of his favorites uh is spicy food but yeah lately we've just really been into the spicy food it's, yeah i i just have been craving that i i don't want it overly spicy but i want a little bit of heat with the food that i've been eating and yeah, this must be just something in the air. I don't know. Yeah, I don't know. We just really been loving spicy foods lately, and you can't beat a good jalapeno, Keith. No, I love jalapenos and habaneros. I'm not into the super hot ones. I do got some ghost peppers planted, but I, they're I, really, really hot peppers. I was just curious to see if I could even grow them, uh, but I've never really cooked with them. But I imagine anything in moderation, they would be pretty good. So. Hey everybody, Keith and I are just getting his outdoor kitchen set up. Uh, we might do some filming in here. Do another video for your cooking channel, Keith. Yeah, Get ahead. We probably will if we're gonna have it set up. I guess we will. Get a video out of it. Get a video out of it. We're all on the third one. That Keith is just watering some of his plants here. What are these, Keith? These are peas and, and green beans. These are carrots and onions. The carrots are finally starting to come, come up, up a little bit. <coughs> and then this is carrots in here also. I wasn't real impressed with the the burpee seeds that come in them sit. The carrots have not done good at all. Now I do got spinach planted back there that's coming up really good that was in them strips. But I definitely haven't had much luck with the carrots. I mean there's a few that are looking good but there should be rows of carrots in there. And yeah, I just don't see them. And then this is carrots in here also. And this is radishes and onions. And this is just radishes in here. And this is just flowers. Uh, I see a lot of weeds, not much for flowers. Looks like peonies are coming, or petunias are coming up in there. And then I got wildflowers over here. But I definitely got to mow and, and get the weed eater out and do some weed eating. And then over here along the fence, I got four clocks planted from Tennessee Shy Lady. Uh, haven't seen anything coming up yet, but I was really hoping to get some rain. But I don't know what the germination is on four clocks. And, and over here I got some of the the vine flowers that she sent me. I don't remember the names of them. Back here I got onions and rhubarb. And this is green beans over here.
Actually, there's green beans and yellow beans both over here. Now, uh, these are just starting to come up here. I just planted these last week. So, so far, I'm really liking this black uh, weed barrier. I think it's going to help a lot with the, the weeds. And then over here, this is this is okra coming up here. And when I get back from Iowa, I might have to come in here and fill in on some of the spots that the okra didn't come up. So it's kind of spotty right now. Uh, some there, some there. But I definitely want to grow as much okra as I can because people buy the okra. They really love it. And then this is strawberries. I showed you a little bit of this on my video, but this is actually Tristan's, but I got a lot of strawberries setting on. Uh, I should get a pretty good crop of strawberries. I don't know when they'll be ready. Uh, if they start setting on when uh, I'll have Dawn check them. Because I don't want them to go to waste. I would just assume if she picks them that they can enjoy them because I don't just want to leave them rot on the vines. But there should be a pretty good crop of strawberries here this year. I didn't didn't get many last year. Uh, the, the plants really spread last year. But I didn't get many strawberries. So hopefully this year we'll get a good crop of strawberries. And I know the blackberries are really loaded out there and then down here I got uh, the corn that Tennessee shy lady sent me and more peas down there sweet peas But so far this spring, this is the best my garden has looked since I've lived here in Oklahoma. So, uh, yeah, the new corn I planted is coming up now. So I should get a, I don't need a lot because it's just decorative corn. It's not an eating corn. So I got one, two, three, four, five, ten, eleven, twelve. 14 kills of it's called glass corn so I, that'll give me 28 ears or so because typically you get two ears of corn on on each stalk of, of corn over here you can see my spinach is coming up in these rows here these are some of the strips like I had with the carrots, but the spinach seems to be doing good, but the carrots didn't. And then over here is onions. Got a lot of onions, man. Mm -hmm. 
they typically sell pretty good at the farmer's market also, and I, I use a lot of onion. And these are my ghost peppers. Yeah, the ghost peppers are looking pretty good there, Keith. Yeah, they they, look they should produce some pretty good peppers. <laughs> but yeah, beautiful looking plant, don't you say? And for 99 cents. Yeah, you can't beat it. We got a great deal of that woods. Great deal of that woods. I was thoroughly happy with that. And then here I got, I planted more peppers in these two little holes here. It was just extra seeds that I had. I don't even remember what kind they were. But I just wanted to use the seeds up. And then this is my tomato plant that I got at Atwoods. It's doing all right. It's looking pretty good, pretty healthy. But yeah, that's my back garden here. Uh, I wish I had more room. Uh, when I get back from Iowa, I might find a place to plant some pumpkins and see if I can get a few pumpkins to grow. But Finding a place to do it is the is the worst part, but yeah, that's a little look at my garden on Tristan's channel. Hope you guys enjoyed that. So we'll talk to you later. Yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed that look at Keith's garden in his backyard. Uh, lots of plants, just really cool, and uh, it's all looking pretty good so far. Um, just hoping and praying that uh, he gets a good turnout at the farmer's market this year and hoping and praying that his garden continues to do well and hopefully we get some consistent rain this year because we really can't afford not to get the rain because this place turns into the Mojave Desert. <laughs> yeah, grabbing Keith's GoPro. I'm going to help him film a cooking video for his cooking channel. Uh, yeah, got it. So let's see what the battery is. 79%. Yeah, that should be plenty too to film a video. If not, he said the other ones are charged. Hey everybody, welcome to the, uh... Had a little behind the scenes video for you guys, uh, helping Keith film a cooking video for his cooking channel. Uh, he's making grilled jalapeno poppers, bacon wrapped, and he's gonna use his, uh, uh, raspberry habanero jam in with the cream cheese to add a little twist to it. I think it's going to be pretty good, Keith. Yeah, I think it should be all right. But yeah, right now he's just half in the jalapenos and deveining them. So just wanted to get you a little behind the scenes look here as we're working on filming his uh, cooking video for his cooking channel here. Talk to you later. God bless. The secret ingredient to add the twist to the recipe, Keith's homemade raspberry jalapeno habanero jam. Yeah, just another little behind the scenes clip here. Keith, these are looking good. Yeah, they are looking really good. I tried a little bit of the uh, cream cheese filling and wow, with that raspberry habanero jam, it tastes amazing. I can't wait till these are fully cooked and we get to try them. What do you think, Keith? Yeah, I think they're gonna turn out pretty good. Getting the grill fired up, Keith. Yep. I'm so excited to eat these jalapeno poppers. <laughs> Cleaned up and ready to go. Yep, it's all ready soon, to go. As soon as I get the heat up a little bit. Are you a are you an expert griller? I am an expert at everything. Looking good, Keith. Yeah, they're starting. Vlogging a vlogger vlogging. Oh yeah. Tristan's vlogging me vlogging. Vlogging him vlogging while he's vlogging. So inspirational. Oh yeah. They're starting to pull some of the jalapeno poppers off the grill here. Uh, some of them didn't stay together, but it is what it is. It's all edible, Keith. Yep. So, just want to get you a look at that. Right, I'm going to try one of the Jalapeno poppers here. Still a little hot yet, but. Mmm. <laughs> well, that habanero comes out at the end. It's just. Oh. 
That's really good. Yeah. I'm not even going to be biased. Because Keith is one of my best friends, but... I've had a lot of jalapeno poppers in my life. That's that's up there with some of the best. That raspberry habanero jam really added some flavor. Oh, it did. It a little added. bit of sweetness, but not too much. And then you get a little bit of the heat, but not overpowering. Yeah, so. if you like spicy, you'll like this. And it's still not that hot to me. No, no. Uh -uh. But it just depends on your spice level tolerance. Yeah, so. yeah. Some people can't handle it at all. And it, it was really good. I yeah, liked it. excellent. I would highly recommend that. That is very, very good. Another behind the scenes clip here. What are you making, Keith? I'm making a kind of an experimental hamburger. I'm gonna do a jalapeno, uh, onion, cream cheese, uh, burger on the blackstone. I've uh, never, this is just something I came up with in my head. So I'm just gonna give it a try. Keith is done using the onion. I'm just going to take a bite of it. Ooh. Yeah, Keith has got some bacon started on the Blackstone here. I'm hanging out with Chef Keith today. <laughs> He's cooking all kinds of recipes. Yeah, some of them are just being thought up of here too so look at them burgers man so inspirational the bacon so inspirational i love it having a lot of fun helping keith out today with some filming uh we just have a good time hanging out and just being in each other's company in general uh one of my best friends here Wow, Keith, just wow. These are excellent burgers here. Mmm. Yeah, I'm doing the onion burger one right now. And like I say, I typically don't like big pieces of onion, but these are grilled up nice and soft, and they got really good flavor. Mmm. Mmm. I would definitely cook these burgers again. I hope so. <laughs> but... Yeah, these two burgers are excellent. Hey everybody, I think Keith is one of the best omelet cookers I've ever seen. When he flipped the omelet, I was like, wow! But he did that for years in a restaurant, right? Yep. If you <laughs> seen how many omelets I've flipped over in my life. <laughs> It would, uh, you would be shocked. Hey everybody, just want to get you an update here. Uh, my friend Keith and I are finally done in the outdoor kitchen. We got everything put away and cleaned up. Dishes done. Uh, Keith, it was a pretty productive time out there. It was. Uh, actually, cooked some good food today too. Yeah, <laughs> excellent to food. So yeah, it was excellent food and yeah, we definitely had a, Productive time out there. Yeah, I'm gonna check uh, Keith's mail for him, see if he got any mail. Oh, yep, he got something. Bring it to him. Hey, everybody, my friend Keith and I are running up to the post office, gonna check his P.O. box, see if there's anything in there. Uh, when we were sitting there on the couch, after we came in from the outdoor kitchen, man, we were dozing off, getting yeah. sleepy. It was a struggle keeping my eyes open. What are we betting today? Uh, between one and a hundred, a zero. Nothing. nothing. Nothing, nothing. Everybody, we came over here to our favorite store, Dollar Tree. Got our Diet Cokes and some water. Come on, man. <laughs> Come on, man. <laughs>
Hey everybody, my friend Keith and I are out here at uh, Crystal Beach, just enjoying it, uh, sitting here looking at the water. Uh, there's a nice breeze coming through the car, Keith. It's gorgeous out here. But yeah, we're just enjoying a little bit of Crystal Beach Park and enjoying the weather here. Uh, we definitely got a lot accomplished today as far as cooking videos, but as far as our vlogs, uh, I know Keith doesn't have much. I have some, but I'm trying to get as much as I can. As you guys know, as I said in the very first clip of the vlog. Hey everybody, it's just beautiful out here at Crystal Beach Park right now. Uh, I'm just loving it. Just wanted to get you guys a closer look at the water here. Very nice. Go on the bridge here. Get you guys a look. Hey everybody, uh, Woodward's having their monster truck show this weekend, I believe. Looks like they got some cars getting those ready for the monster truck show at the rodeo arena here. Just wanted to get you a look at that now that is a blue house oh they got a beautiful rose bush too yeah. look at all those cacti yeah if this home was renovated and restored it would be a beautiful home I, love uh, house. I really like that house there hey everybody this is a gorgeous home here they also have some beautiful rose bushes but yeah that is a gorgeous home what do you think Keith I love it yeah I love that there really is some beautiful homes here around Woodward. There really is. Uh, and actually, they've been renovating a lot of homes recently. Yeah, it definitely smells like patchouli in here. I'm actually curious. I might do some research on this. I wonder if there's a patchouli fragrance uh, that anybody makes or sells. Uh, don't know what brands or anything. But yeah, I was just kind of curious about that. I wonder if there's any patchouli fragrances out there that you could purchase i know there's tons and tons and tons of fragrances with patchouli note in them but i'm wondering if there's just a straight up patchouli fragrance that's pretty much all patchouli so yeah i'll definitely do some research and, and look into that because i really do like the smell of patchouli i just walked back in my house here and i went ah smells like patchouli Oh yeah, there's definitely some patchouli dominant fragrances out there. I just got done watching a video. A gentleman on YouTube made a video and he put, I think it was top 10 patchouli fragrances for life or something like that. And yeah, there's quite a few uh, patchouli dominant fragrances. Hey everybody, for dinner here, we're going to have some hot links, but we're going to try these uh, ghost pepper sausages. So I bet they're going to be pretty hot. Hey, we got the ghost pepper sausages on the grill here. Hey everybody, I'm gonna try this uh, ghost pepper sausage now. Good flavor. Don't have any spice yet. Take another bite, sorry it's really hot. It's a good heat level. Uh, it's pretty spicy, but it's not overbearing like I thought it was going to be. Take a third bite here. Yeah, it's warm, but it's not overbearingly spicy. Yeah, so I ate three bites of uh, that ghost pepper sausage, and I didn't think it was that hot. This A&J salsa, there's this hot one here, but they also have an extra hot. But this hot one is a step below the hottest one, which is the extra hot, as I said. And this one has uh, ghost pepper in it. And this is actually pretty hot salsa, I will say myself. Uh, three or four chip fools of this, and it's pretty warm. But yeah, the ghost pepper 
sausage, not too hot yet. But yeah, it has a good level of spice. Uh, to me, personally, it's not overbearing. But it has a great, excellent flavor. Yeah. Overall, it tastes fantastic. Uh, glad I got these at the store. Mmm. Yeah, overall, I'm going to give that an 8 out of 10. Uh, I'll say it one more time. It's not overbearingly hot in my personal opinion, but good flavor. Uh, yeah, I'm glad that I got to try those. God bless. Hey, everybody. Uh, my friend John's going to pick me up here in a minute. Uh, we're going to hang out, maybe possibly go out to the uh, Crystal Beach Park and go to the Oklahoma City Thunder basketball court. But I'm going to bring him a lemon drizzle cake. And uh, I think I'm going to eat me one, too, because they're actually really good. I seen these at the store when I was grocery shopping. But, uh, yeah, I think they're pretty good. Yeah, these are what they look like. They're just individually wrapped. But like I said, they're really, really good. And I'm just drinking a lemon-lime prime hydration drink. I really like these prime drinks. I think they taste pretty good. Hey, everybody. Uh, my friend John just picked me up. Uh, he has a pretty cool Metallica shirt on. Master of Puppets album. Hell yeah. Yeah. But uh, yeah, we're just going to do some hanging out. Go out to the Thunder basketball courts, like I said. My dog can shoot some hoops. and Hopefully he won't get the ball stuck on top of the backboard again. Yeah, that was embarrassing. <laughs> no, it was all fun. We we had a laugh about it, and I've never seen that in my life. I had neither. Bro, what the hell is it? How, John? How, I don't bro? know. I suck. Well, we made it out here. Uh, there's nobody out here so far. A couple cars parked. But, uh, yeah, we made it out here, and should be a good time. I'll get you guys whatever footage that I can. Talk to you later. Oh, yeah. TC's putting some fragrance on. I'm so inspired. Which one's that? Musky Ocmoose. Oh, yeah, man. Musk. <laughs> what the heck, John? <laughs> Musk, he said. <laughs> Trolling. Look at John, man. So inspirational. Yeah, everybody. I just love my friends. We have such a good time. Uh, each and every one of my friends. I just cherish all the moments I have, and they really mean a lot to me. I We joke around a lot, but I really do take my friends seriously, and I love my friends a lot. So, <laughs> TC smelling so good. <laughs> Oh yeah, I'm just kidding bro, we're trolling. We're just having a good time. Talk to you later. Hey everybody, this is the third time <laughs> I am, I'm recording this clip. I gotta get it together. Sorry. Sorry man. Take three. Take three, action. But uh, we couldn't, <laughs> we couldn't decide where we wanted to eat so they asked me. I said, oh Taco Bell, their jaws dropped because if you know me personally, I really don't like Taco Bell and I'm not a huge fan of Mexican food in general that's not one of my favorites but here lately I've been on a spicy food kick and uh, so yeah I'm gonna give Taco Bell a try and I thought that person was gonna pull out in front of you John did too anyways we're gonna get it on this clip we, we got to get it right but we're going to Taco Bell and uh, I'm gonna give it a try uh, Taco Bell's probably one of the least last picks that I would pick out of all the fast foods there are uh, so yeah, I'm gonna give Taco Bell a try. Uh, our KFC and Taco Bell, Taco Bell is actually combined. Hey everybody, uh, hopefully I got a pretty long vlog today. That was the goal. Uh, hope you guys enjoyed today's video. I just gotta wrap it up here. It's getting pretty late. I uh, still wanna hang out with my friends TC and John here. Trying to see what time it is. 8.43 p.m. So yeah, God bless guys. Peace be with you.